the jailer continues to grow in power. He's preparing to break free from the Maw and complete his plan to unmake the entire Warcraft universe. And Sylvanas, you may be wondering what she's been up to all this time. Today, we're excited to unveil our first major content update for Shadowlands, Chains of Domination. Oh, wow. Chains of Domination. Look around you. What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his end? Enough. Join oh, that's, our call. That scene is so good. Will be made to serve. Right now, you hold all the power. Make your choice, Sylvanas Windrunner. Yo, here we go, dude. Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius' treachery is irreparable? The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could. My hey! Archon, a living soul seeks an audience. A mortal? A king. Whoa, By what? All our measures, what? One who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would give anything to serve his people. Uther looks awesome. Oh one no. Whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My ascended have spoken of you. The king held captive in the mall. That prison could not hold me forever. Oh. Come to Bastion. You have a key that I need. You. Will release this soul from your grasp. No. He is bound to me. Just as you once sought to buy your own brother. Oh! Holy fuck! Nope! What? Okay. Well, I thought the Kyrian story was over. What? The vessel performed its part. Flawlessly. Three keys for them. Then they will see. That face. Death That's what I want to see from Sylvanas, man. Meant to be Wait, what is that? What was that? No, we definitely don't kill Anduin, right? We have to free him from whatever the hold that he has on him. Clea's going to be in trouble? I know you probably have a lot of questions about what you just saw and what it means for the next stage of your Shadowlands journey. Later today, my teammates Ian and Jeremy will be telling you more about Chains of Domination in our Shadowlands. What? Series. Please check out the World of Warcraft channel to find out more. Next, I'm excited to Anduin just murdered the Archon, my dude. The Warcraft charity pet program. We've heard a lot from our community about how much they love these pets. Uh, that 9.1 cinematic with Anduin and the Archon was just... Oh, delicious. Beautiful. One of the best. One of the best. Um, one of the best. That was so... That was awesome. That was so awesome. And the character design for Anduin in particular right now is wild. 
Like, I love it. I love it so much. He looks so good. I want to see what's coming in 9.1 a little bit more. I really like that cinematic, of course. I think that was really good. Sylvanas's look at the end is awesome. I know people are like, oh, Redemption Arc. Oh, Sylvanas is one of the worst characters uh, ever written. Because I love Sylvanas, and I think that her writing is awesome. And uh, she clearly has some depth going on. And she's not just either good or evil or whatever. She's got her own motives. And uh, when when one of her own motives is causing somebody that she actually respects and is very, very clear, by the way, in her writing that she does respect Anduin and everything that he represents and what he fights for and that he actually fights, right? Uh, she has always respected Anduin. Um, always. Uh, so to see her watch him do the thing that she thought was right and have that, that look of like, it, this, I messed, I think this is wrong. I think I messed up. I don't like seeing Anduin this way. I want to see him be that annoying little lion. Uh, to me, is huge. Like that, I can't, I cannot wait to see what they end up doing with that storyline. And I am all for, I don't think that Sylvanas needs a redemption arc. I think whatever Sylvanas is doing is whatever Sylvanas is doing and let her do it. Um, but her realizing like it, this isn't the best way to do that is super cool to me. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm really excited. 9.1 is going to be awesome. Um, Corey, it does. Daisy the Sly. <gasps> She's an all-new pet who will hang around your neck when you need a hug. Your donations during this campaign will go to support what? the humanitarian organization Doctors Without Borders. 